we have this uh, show us your balls thing. Yeah. Game on. After what happened Friday night. Game on. Mm-hmm. And thinks we should do Broadway show more Broadway shows. I like that. You know something? I'm, it's part of the balls thing. I'm thinking we should expand a little bit. Expand it to live TV and other other things. I like other that. Other venues. I like that. And we'll uh, reward you if you uh, if you show us your balls in a in a big show us your balls in a big bad way. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you remember Brian who ruined uh, what, what movie did he ruin? It was, uh, was it a Kevin Costner, Kevin Costner movie? Costner. Was it Message in a Bottle? Yeah, I think it was Message in a Bottle. Uh, but so Brian decided he wanted to do something for the show. Uh-huh. He, he called up. I think he already he already did it. He called us with the tape, right? Right. So uh, he went to see uh, Message in a Bottle, I believe, mm-hmm. and decided that he needed to ruin the plot for everybody in the theater before they saw it. Right. I believe he stood up in front of uh, a crowded theater and announced <laughs> what was going to happen by the end of the movie. Yeah. And this is how it went down. Randy. Brian. Yes. It's you? Yeah, it is. You got the tape of this or what? I got it. Get out of here. So explain what happened. What theater you go to? All right, we went to the Comac Multiplex. Yeah. So we go in. We get it all. We scat, we scat it out. We can't have any movie theaters. It's down, so we can have the car waiting in the back. I don't feel like getting shot or nothing. <laughs> so I go up. I buy one ticket. I felt like such a loser going in there with one ticket. I walk all the way to the front, sit down. I wait till uh, the coming attractions are over and just when it's perfectly quiet and the music's coming on, I get up. I scream it out, Kevin Costner dies at the end of this movie, and I just ran out. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a bullhorn, but I, I didn't. So I, I went to the middle, waved my hands, got everybody's attention. <laughs> screamed it. So what did they do? I don't know. I, I, like, everybody was, like, looking around, like, what the hell is going on? Yeah. And then I just ran. Wow. I wanted to stick around. I went out the back door. That's funny. And then, what, you had the getaway car and you guys took off? Took off. We almost got in an accident leaving, too. <laughs> <laughs> you got to watch out. Going so fast. And you taped it? We taped it. All right, let's hear the tape. All right, hold on. Showtime. Lights going out. Movie's going on. Here we go. Please, Kevin Costner dies at the end of this movie. Thank you. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> oh, my God. Go. <laughs> you got it? You lunatic. That's yeah. awesome. We got to hang out with you, man. <laughs> I've been listening to you guys since the beginning, man. The Cuban song, all that. Yeah. I love it. Oh, uh, cool. <laughs> hey Brian, you're the man. Thanks, dude. You'll have to do it again next uh, chick movie that comes out. I'll do it. Give me a bullhorn. Yeah, definitely. Oh, we'll we'll get, get you a bullhorn. <laughs> we'll get you all set up next time. No problem. Because you definitely have the balls to do it. <laughs> Mike Spratt was driving the getaway car. All right, thanks guys. <laughs> getaway car. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for helping our show out. No problem. All right, man. Later. Hey, There's yeah. Brian, everyone. <laughs> How cool is that? I forgot all oh, about that. Yeah. May, May I, I have, have your years. attention, please? May Just I have in your case, attention, please. <laughs> Just in case they wouldn't have noticed him anyway. And don't you love the way he's going? Go, go, go! Like, like the way they were whisking away Reagan after Hinckley shot him. Go, 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 go! go, 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 go. go. <laughs> Get him to the hospital. Well, that theater's set up in a way where you can pretty much have someone in a car right behind the screen. Yeah. And you yeah. got the exits right there by the screen, and then you just But you just got to count and make sure your friend is in the right theater there. Yeah. Like 10 or 12 in a row or whatever it is. <laughs> All right. That was good. Now we have uh, the Star Wars thing. Mm-hmm. How did this go down? Now we had uh, the, the Star Wars freaks. They were they were online for a month or something stupid like that. Yeah, you guys remember? Yeah, they were they were out there like a week early, uh, dressed up a in their week? Star Wars. No, Wa- no, it was months. Yeah, this if was, you remember because this, this was a big uh, national story, just like they're doing within the other uh, uh, Star Wars uh, Star Wars movies. Yeah, they uh, they were people waiting outside the theater online for months to uh, be the first to see. The Phantom Menace. Right. And, and uh, they're all dressed up as their favorite oh, uh, Star they, Wars oh, character. Oh, it's called the news. Zeros. The news would be down there every night. They all had lightsabers. And they had lightsaber fights. The big plastic glowing lightsabers, and they'd oh. hit themselves. Yeah, two men having a little lightsaber fight. That's fun if you're using the right equipment. <laughs> hey, your lightsaber's leaking all over my life. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided to send... Uh, uh, ben, Rick, and Earl. Oh, this was pretty much the first thing Earl ever wrecked for us. 
Oh, oh no. no. In yeah. a long line of things he has messed up for this radio show. We didn't really know Earl back then. All we knew was he, he drove the van, the, the, the station van. We're like, hey, Earl, we need, we need a favor from you. We need you to, you know, uh, drive the guys down to the... To the front of the theater. They're Earl gonna, is the wheel man. They're going to do their thing, and all you have to do is take off, right? Well, a actually, we had Rick and I had realized that that was a bad move, and originally the plan was that I was going to drive it away, but it got so crazy, and Earl was behind the wheel, and we got caught. In, <laughs> caught between a bunch of cars. Did he make a really bad U-turn on the George Washington Bridge? Nice work, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, the son of a bitch took the van to his girlfriend's house and fell asleep. <laughs> the cops got the van. See Earl in those tight little shorts like Stag's head on? That was Samuel Jackson. Stag's, yeah. <laughs> Take the coffee. Well, I'm kidding you. <laughs> <laughs> the stupid son of a bitch went to his girl's house. Nice work, Lou. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the bit was uh, very simple. Of course, chicks yeah. don't get that. Uh, it was very simple. It was a very simple thing, and uh, and Earl effed up the whole damn thing. Norton's killing me. I'm sorry. <laughs> nice work, Lou. <laughs> you turn on the bridge. So also might not even be in the wow van, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> we just come, uh, up, come out blasting, putting stickers all over. <laughs> so Earl's the wheel man. Wow. Earl's the, it was a simple thing. Go to the theater. They've been there for months. They're dressed up as their favorite Star Wars character. They can't wait for this movie to come out. Ooh. Let's wreck the movie for these guys. These right. are the real hardcore fans. And give away the key plot line. Uh... So Earl was supposed to just, <laughs> you know, stop in the in, in front of the theater. Uh, the whole thing should have taken 30 seconds. Right. No. Uh, Earl gets boxed in. <laughs> he gets boxed in knowing that uh, he's going to have to make a getaway. Yeah. <laughs> and the best part of this, all Earl could say is, oh, it's a Jersey driver. They're the one that screwed up. He was trying to blame it on the car that had gotten from us. Cause he they were parked in a position where he was going to be boxed in, right. right? which you just don't do. So no. I, You guys knew the plot line somehow? Oh, yeah. 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 I, I forgot how he found Somebody out. Somebody sent them to us. Sent them or whatever. Yeah, all key plot lines that you, if you're a fan, you do not want to know when you go into the movie. Did you have a bullhorn? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. They had a bullhorn. They, I think they pulled up and tried to gain their confidence by right. giving away yeah. a few uh, items to get them a little closer to the van. We gave away pens. Pens or maybe right. keychains. Pens and keychains. No, and we gave them what later turned into weapons. Right. Yeah, well, yeah. It was brilliant. Flying projectiles. Yeah, right, right. right. Yeah. Which you hear hitting the van. It's and, and they tried cheer. to give away Nerf balls. <laughs> <laughs> and goose balls like that Rosie. That's bad cap humor. <laughs> they, but they were cheering us like, oh, look. Yeah, they're giving us free stuff. The station, oh, you know, wow. local oh, nice. station is coming down to is support oh. the guys that are hanging out online. And then they I just haven't heard this in a long out. time. And I think Rick then uh, said, and by the way, and then boom, here come the plot lines. But the first uh, track is uh, Rick yelling at Ben. What was this about? Oh, again? that's well, right, Rick. Very angry. Chains. I gave out the key. Well, we, first of all, we were so disorganized right. when we got down there. No one knew what we were doing. The original brilliant plan was we were going to try and run. We were going to run away from the van and, and try and see if we could get away. Right. But it was completely unorganized. I got out, and Roger was the brilliant one that gave us a bunch of metal keychains to give out. Listen to Adolf and, and, Rick yelling at everybody. And hard plastic pens that came flying back at us. And, uh, you know, and we're, we're on hold. I'm on hold with you guys here at the station because, you know, we're trying to sync it up. To make yeah. sure we do it live on the air. This was the early days of the O and A show in New York City. Pre delay, we were still uh, <laughs> trying to figure out our team. Rick, <laughs> so angry. Listen to the anger. Listen to the Latin rage in Rick's voice. Yeah, this is uh, before they actually did the bit. Mm -hmm. uh, Rick just losing his mind. Get his ass over here, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Well, now we're not gonna have anything to give people. What the? F now we gotta move on. Oh, this whole fing bit is trash. Jesus Christ. Where the hell is Ben? Is he out there still, that idiot? What are you doing giving away stuff yet? I haven't started. Oh, I thought you started. Oh, Jesus. What the f were you doing? I do No, I didn't say go out. I said get ready. We're gonna do this now. Now we got no CDs. How are we gonna start? Get more stuff. Get more stuff. Oh, well, why did you start for it? Ruins the bit. I didn't. You didn't. Why did you say stop? Uh, Jesus Christ, I never said start. Um, I never said start. <laughs> Why did you start giving out stuff if, if I thought you were f***ing on the phone? I am on the phone. They got me on hold. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, sitting here, we're going to get a f***ing soon. Uh, all right, do you want, let's try this again, okay? 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. That's good, man. <laughs> Rick, you Jesus saw... Christ. <laughs> Kathleen, put your goddamn clothes on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, the whole bit is ruined. Rick, you sound like the biggest ass, man. How long has Henry Hill been your producer? <laughs> yeah. God, that's all we had. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, that's all we had. I need that money. Ah! They were going to find the pens, Henry. <laughs> In the bet. No. What the f*** did you do? What did you do? The best is you hear Earl, as usual, right on the ball. Where is he? I don't know. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you guys did to those dirt bags for stand out. You know what you should do for the next ones the guys that are online the night before the film? Get that cancerous breast that guy has and mush it in the guy's face. <laughs> You're first online, you mush it in his dumb beard. Tell him it's uh, for one of Lucas's prop aliens. Yeah, here, take <laughs> He'll it. love it. It's a loose, little scuttly thing they're going to make <laughs> and sell out. It's called a waka waka. <laughs> oh, give the waka waka a kiss. <laughs> 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 All right. So, uh, oh, Lucas stinks. <laughs> so that's Rick losing his mind. Yeah. Then they reorganize. Yes. But backed up and regrouped. But as they they try to reorganize, Earl uh, had no clue that he was being boxed in, which means the bit was going to be in trouble. Right. Because the the key to this is the quick getaway. Get to away. And as we have learned, Earl is not the man you put behind the wheel when you need quick anything. <laughs> you need Nestle quick. You don't send Earl. <laughs> <laughs> so they reorganized it now. Yeah. This is how it went down on the radio. Rick! Guys! What's up, buddy? What's the crowd like? Uh, well, we're in front of the Sigfeld Theater. Uh, everybody's <laughs> buying their tickets for Star Wars, which is opening next week. And uh, let me just take a look down the street here. There are tons of people. We've got a few TV crews. Channel 7. I almost hit a biker. Uh, Channel 1. There's people getting interviewed over there, and I think we're going to surprise them, and we're going to give away some uh, free CDs and stuff, courtesy of, of course, Opie and Anthony and N.E.W., and uh, a few other surprises for Star Wars fans. Oh, that should be nice. Let's hear some of this. This is All right. cute radio. Hold on. Here we go. All right. Hey, Star Wars fans. Hey, Opie and Anthony from W.N.E.W. say uh, thanks for listening. And, of course, if you guys are online, you've been waiting a long time. We're going to hit you up with some free CDs. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just won them over. Whoa, Three yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, Three. And, it's, and the funny thing is, as soon as I said that, Ben got about five feet from the van and they surrounded him. Yeah, yeah. Free stuff. People love free stuff. So, yeah, so now they go to the van. So now the van is surrounded and Earl is blocked in. Right. right. Very important to the rest of this take. <laughs> And uh, the front of this Cleaver house is a facade. It's called a facade as we take the Universal Studio tram around the back. You'll see there's nothing but two by fours holding up the false front, which of course is the definition of facade. Now we'll go uh, over the bridge. Uh oh, it doesn't look very sturdy. Looks a little rickety. I'm Mad Max, and remember, you call your people, I'll call mine, and we'll do lunch, or whatever the hell this little catchphrase was. <laughs> I love that he was a Universal Studios tour guide. I love it. Well, he's using that voice during I know. Stuff. Well, people, now we'll be announcing you back in the studio. No, we're going to need your 50% of this, people. Your half of this. Well, they work off your energy. <laughs> know, know what's great about this? So far, so good. Rick, Rick is like, and uh, okay, now, Ben, hand out the free stuff. And you can yeah. tell Rick uh, knows in his, uh, in his head, like, okay, here comes the bad part. Right. And he's right. trying to get himself psyched up. He's like, okay, Ben, give it out. <laughs> Make sure you guys get on TV tonight and all that stuff. So, uh, Ben, what are you still handing out those CDs? Oh, Ben. 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 
That's Earl now beeping the horn, knowing that here it comes, knowing that there's going to be angry Star Wars fans any second now, and now he's beeping, trying to get uh, the guy out of his way. Yeah. But meanwhile, Earl had pulled up behind the car. Like right, right on the bumper. Yeah, yeah, he didn't have to. <laughs> right. So he's going to have to back out of the spot. Oh, go F yourselves. At the, at the best. Here we go. There's Earl. <laughs> Earl's panicking. Oh, God. Please, for the love of God, get the F out of my way. Earl's going to end up like a Tarantino and Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> the bullet in his head. <laughs> We gotta let you know that has a security reason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those beefs were key plot lines. The only reason they're still bleeped, we don't have a copy of them unbleeped. Unfortunately, Damn, we don't. Right. Yeah, but we didn't want to like ruin it for the listeners. Well, we knew if we did, if, yeah, if we they'd did. kill us, oh, and they would turn off the radio. Yeah, you know, so it's beeped. But basically, what you're hearing is Rick give away the key, uh, the plot lines <laughs> of the movie, and that's why it's beeped. Right. I think that first one was that uh, the princess had a twin. Right. The princess reason. had a twin, right. and it wasn't her. Blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but that, you know the story. That's not even right important. After he gets all the plot lines uh, ruined, just watch, uh, listen to what happens. Well, uh, thanks for listening to Hopi and Anthony. I'm for the reward for hanging out and waiting for your tickets online. We gotta let you know that <laughs> has a security reason. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta let you know that <laughs> has a security reason. <laughs> 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 Alright, thanks for listening to Hopi and Anthony. I'm for the reward for hanging out and waiting for your tickets online. <laughs> Hurry up, get out of here, get out, go, go. All right, so, <laughs> okay, now they're they're taking the lovely gifts that Bennett handed them <laughs> right. and now using them as <laughs> primitive <laughs> projectiles, <laughs> throwing them, and you can hear them hitting the van. Now, Rick almost gets hit by something. He goes, oh, wait a minute, they're, they're throwing things. And then they jump in the van and realize that Earl is now boxed in. Boxed in and can't move. In the movie. Oh, jeez, I've been... <laughs> Hurry up, get out of here. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Let me try and get one more. One more before we go here. Oh, man, we're double parked. <laughs> <laughs> Earl finally notices that he's double parked. You idiot. Oh, we're double parked. Oh, man, we're double parked. We're not going anywhere. He's panicking. He's beeping the horn like crazy, panicking, and then realizes he's double parked. In the movie. Oh, jeez. I just... <laughs> Hurry up. Get out of here. Get out. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go. Damn, go. Let me try and get one more. One more before we go here. Oh, man. We're double parked. Keep going. Keep going. Roll down your window. Keep going. Ben, <laughs> close your window. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, close the window! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Ben, Earl, get out of here! Go, 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 go! Lock the door! <laughs> go! <laughs> Jesus Christ, the trap. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ, we're trapped. Oh, is that classic? Oh. It sounds like a scene out of Black Hawk Down. What is? You know, they can't get out of there, and they're taking fire. What an idiot! These are Star Wars fans. It's not like they're going to see the new Spike Lee film. I mean, <laughs> what an idiot! <laughs> Go! Jesus Christ, we're trapped. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> you need an escape route, you dope. <laughs> uh, guys? Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to get out of here right now. Oh, come on. <laughs> They're throwing stuff at the van. <laughs> Some people are punching the van here. You can hear him punch in the van. <laughs> Get out of there! Throw the pin back at Ben, you gave him pins? <laughs> ben gave him pens. They're throwing the fucking pens at him. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus! <laughs> hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Go, 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 go! Just go! Just go! Just go! You got it! Go, go! Oh, Jesus! Hold down that window one more time. I'll get one more. Oh, my God. Hurry up, hurry up! Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Drive. Uh-oh. Hello, Rick. Hello.
Rick! Uh-oh. Oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> what happened? Rick! <laughs> Holy <laughs> Give us a call back if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it ended. Yeah, we lost communication with them, but they all made it back finally. That's classic. They're <laughs> beating the hell out of the van. Can you get the storylines for the new one? Is that possible? Yeah, we could easily do that. To blow it for these... <laughs> Idiots that have been standing on line for weeks and months. Dopes. And of course, Opie, uh, I'm getting on instant feedback. The obligatory, thanks for ruining the Phantom Menace yeah, for me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Shut up. So there you go. Yeah. There's three examples of show us your balls. Show us your balls. That's what we're looking for. We're accepting more tapes. You figure out how you want to show us your balls, and, uh, and we'll do the rest on the radio for you, okay? And uh, of course, for that, we can say, we'll give you a cool prize. Oh, without a show doubt. Show us your balls, man.